Hi darlings, Dina Danielle here from Dina Danielle Designs. The other day I posted a picture of some peonies that I made from coffee filters. Yes, I said that right, coffee filters, y'all. <laughs> and so many of you wanted me to post a tutorial. Now you know I don't do typical tutorials these days. Mm -mm, no, this girl's just enjoying her life. Tutorials are hard, you have to, you know, yeah. But I thought this was well worth sharing with you guys because it is just so simple, it's inexpensive, it'd be a great gift idea. It's also a really great idea to beautify your home and bring some magic in and some color because you can do these in any color. They're so simple. This would be a fun project to do with your kids depending on their skill level. I do use hot glue in mine, so that's up to you, you know, whether you allow them to do the hot glue. You can use other kinds of glue if you want to as well. I just find that the hot glue, it dries quickly and you can mold it and you can shape it a lot better than say like white glue. A lot of people use white glue. Now, if you're anything like me, you can go peruse other tutorials just to get ideas of how other people do these and then just start creating your own system. I will share with you how I do them, but feel free to tweak it in any way you want and use things that you already own. I'm a huge fan of taking what you have, spinning straw into gold kind of thing. I don't believe you have to spend a fortune on anything to have beauty in your life. So enough of the chit chat, let's get down to how I actually created these. Are several methods to dyeing your coffee filters. Uh, I used RIT dye, a few drops of RIT dye in a pie pan, some water, dip it in there, wring it out, let it dry. You can pop it in the oven for a little while if you want. Be very careful. Watch them. They do burn. Um, you can also try a food coloring. I did a few with food coloring. And I've heard you can use paint as well, just water paint. Basic dyeing paper. You'll need glue, glue gun, scissors, uh, some florist tape, and some wire. All of these supplies can be found at the dollar store, Walmart, Hobby Lobby, easy peasy, cheap. Um, to make your flour, you're gonna need 10 coffee filters. So you can have darker ones in the middle, or darker ones on the edge, on the outside. I chose to do a darker color on the edge, on the outside. Now, you're gonna take two of your coffee filters, two of the tin, and you're going to fold them in half, and then fold it in half again, and again, just like that. Cut your uh, petal, petals into a heart shape. And then, I like to kind of clean it up, you know, shape it a little, but honestly, it does not have to be perfect. Flowers aren't perfect. Okay. Um, at this point, I like to cut in between to make it a little bit more petally. Honestly, you don't have to do this. Some of the tutorials were saying not to do this. Um, I say try different things, honestly. This is your flower, and it doesn't have to mimic a peony exactly. That's what creativity is all about, is making it your own. Now take four of your coffee filters, fold them in half and half and half. And this time we're gonna cut the petals a little bit differently. Um, we're not gonna do the heart shape, we're just gonna just do one petal. So teardrop kind of shape. Just kind of get it to where you want it. Um, don't worry too much about the boo-boos. This one was kind of jaggedy, so I sort of cleaned that up. And then cut in between the petals. Now on these, the ones with the bigger petals, I do trim the petals in a little bit just to make them more petally. Does that make sense? <laughs> I don't think that's a word, y'all. But make them a little bit more petally and make them a little bit different shapes. I think that's the the um, 
reason that faux flowers start to not look real is because all the petals are the same. So you're going to want to make them, you know, a little bit different. Give them individuality. Give them personality. And then cut a tiny little slit in the bottom. I forgot to show you that on the other ones. All of them, you're going to want to do that. Take your next four, do the same thing that you did in that, the middle one. I sort of cut that out. I didn't want to overburden you so much. These tutorials get so long anyway. So you've got um, a slit in the bottom of all of them. Stack them how you want them. And then crunch them. That's the fun part. It's so scary, but fun. And this is where we start to actually start putting them together. Um, my wire is pretty sturdy, but I wanted it a little bit more sturdy. So I folded it in half. Doesn't really matter how long your stem is. Um, just kind of eyeball it, wing it. I really don't even need a stem if you're going to use it for like a corsage or um, if you're not going to use it in a bouquet type situation. Uh, but just twist, 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 and then make a hook on the top and hot glue. My glue gun is so disgusting, y'all. I did not put it in the camera. It is so gross. This girl needs a new glue gun. I want a big glue gun, um, but I want it to be pink, and I haven't found one yet. So just kind of smoosh, smoosh that hot glue onto your hook and really secure uh, the petal, the petals. And on this uh, part, you're gonna want to, you know, squish it as far down as it can go. Again, add hot glue and smoosh. See how the hot glue helps you smoosh and shape? You're gonna wanna smoosh and shape, smoosh and shape. <laughs> Say that 10 times. And keep crumpling if it needs a little bit more character. And keep doing the same thing. Like a little bit of glue. And smoosh. And shape. Just kind of work it as you go. The first two or three, you're going to want to really scrunch them up close. Like I'm doing. That's sort of your center. Um, and you want it to be more close. So go ahead and do that. And be sure to, you know, make sure your petals aren't just stacked right on top of each other. You want the slits to be off center each time. Um, again, that's another problem with faux flowers sometimes. They can just be stacked right on top of each other and it just looks silly. So keep going if you need to sort of bring the center of it down a little, that's okay. Keep forming the flower as you go. It's basically easy peasy, guys. It's just, it's eyeballing it and just being creative with it. Crunch, 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 smush, smush, smush. You know, looking at it each time. What do you look like, honey? Are you pretty or are you are you turning out ugly? <laughs> we want no ugly flower. So smush, smush, smush. Oh, I just love it. I love it. It's it's like it comes to life right before your very eyes. It's almost like you're just creating this gorgeous flower. Can you imagine how the universe feels creating all the beautiful flowers? Okay, so I did not show you all of the petals, but you just keep doing that, doing the same thing until you get it into your flower shape and then you're just gonna want to smush it around the bottom petals uh, I pulled down a little bit and then the middle of course is a little bit more compact and you can scrunch it some more you can pull the petals out you know just to make it look fluffy and more realistic next take your florist tape um, this is sort of optional if you're gonna have it in a vase and it's not seen, you, you really don't need it. It just finishes it off. Um, florist tape is kind of sticky and stretchy, so you stick it on there and stretch it and then finish it off by just smoothing it down. It just sticks to itself. 
And that is it, you guys. Beautiful. Oh my God, they're so addictive. crazy hair <laughs> you know wear them as a corsage you could do a flower halo you can make wreaths out of them you can use them as centerpieces you could use them at a wedding i mean how gorgeous would these be in a wedding bouquet you could put some greenery with it there are 127 uses no i'm kidding <laughs> there's a gazillion i don't know i didn't sit and count you crazy <laughs> I hope you make these. If not, I hope you enjoyed watching this tutorial. Anyway, sometimes that's just fun to watch and you're like, whoa, no, mm -mm, no, I got better things to do with my time. <laughs> Either way, I hope you have a wonderful day. I love you so much. XOXO. Bye.